Hey guys, welcome back to a, another episode in my tips and strategies for playing PUBG. Um, so now the game, had they just did the big release, so uh, we've got now all the different kinds of grips, uh, uh, the new weapons, the SLR. I use the SLR uh, in this game, which I, I'm really liking uh, this gun. I um, think it's fantastic, uh, to be honest. I try to look for it now every, every time I play. Um, so in this game, uh, you can see where the plane is coming in. And this is going to be important because um, this video, th my big thing is going to be kind of focusing on position. You know, where are you uh, in relation to where everybody, il uh, everybody else is? So we're going to head set it to two times and we'll kind of get up here. And we're going to fast forward quite a bit because I'm not really near anybody. So an area that I really do like to jump to is down over to here. Um, I like to jump into Los Leones. Uh, it just kind of depends on whatever I feel like doing that day. Uh, so I jump into Los Leones quite a bit, but I've, lately I've been kind of jumping into this area. I've been trying to explore some of the... the they put in a lot of new buildings. Um, they really redid the map for Miramar, and it's fantastic. Uh, I really like it. So what I've done is jump down over to here. Uh, I'll end up hitting these buildings, hit there, and then I hit down into the warehouse. Uh, I get into a dune buggy, and you can see where the uh, circle is. So it's going to be a northern circle. Um, I haven't really liked northern circles, but now that they've put in more buildings, it kind of changed the map a little bit. Uh, I, I actually am liking it a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and set it to about the midway point. Oh. Well, let's get over here. No, you idiot. There we go. Okay, so what I've done is I actually kind of came up through here, came down, coming up, cutting across, yada, yada, yada. So I'm going to go ahead and slow it back down here real quick. And we'll kind of get off of where I'm at. All right, so I am not going over to that crate. So, to kind of get into sort of what I was thinking at this point. So, if you remember where the plane came in, what I was saying to myself is, okay, I mean, there's definitely going to be people up near where I'm at. So, what I need to do is make sure that I get out of the vehicle uh, and into a place that I, I, I think I'm at least going to be alone for a moment. Uh, I'm not going to, like, stumble onto somebody. So... Anytime that you're kind of coming into the circle in a vehicle, you've got to sort of pick a position where you think that you're not immediately going to take fire. So kind of go back to where it is uh, that I'm at. So these buildings they just put into the game, uh, this area right up here. So I have no intention of going here because at this point I've actually gotten a lot of stuff that I really need. So I've got the, um, uh, the SLR... Uh, is it showing the scope? Yeah, I've got a scope. Boy, what is going on? Uh, okay, well, it's not showing a scope. I do have a scope. So uh, I'm kind of looking in every direction of where I'm at. So the reason I picked right here is I'm not a fan of going into the middle of the circle. I think that's a really bad mistake. However, based on where this circle was, it actually made more sense for me to try to go ahead and position myself in a place where I can kind of move for where the next circle is going to be if I'm going to have to move at all. So I end up putting myself right here on this uh, ridge. Uh, and the reason I do it is because I've got a really good vantage point. Because, uh, you know, I know the map well, but pretty much everybody knows the map well uh, if you've played the game enough. So I end up taking some shots at uh, this guy right over here, Big Goose. Uh, he goes up the up the hill here trying to get into a spot I don't get to uh, fire on him right now he ends up working up around the side comes around over here and uh, then there's somebody else I take shots at so I end up taking shots at a lot of people in this game and I don't get um, some of them down for some of the engagements that I'm doing so we'll go ahead and set it back to two times kind of fast forward just a little bit so we're down to 28 people, uh, the circle's coming in, and based on where I'm at, I'm kind of looking uh, in every direction, and 
what I keep thinking is that there's a good chance that there's going to be somebody who comes from back over into this area. So I definitely need to keep looking behind me. But at the end of the day, I've got a really good vantage point. Yeah, right there is when I start taking some shots at uh, Zelt, uh, who had worked his way over. Uh, I hit him a few times. I don't get him down, unfortunately. But he works his way back up around the hill. And uh, I take shots at him. I take some shots at some other guys, too, uh, that we'll end up seeing. So th this area is like a really good area just to kind of be able to look down into this valley over here, uh, to be able to look down into this area. And a lot of people really do like to get up onto this mountain range up here. So based on where I'm at, I was deliberately trying to get to the uh, area that I'm in uh, just because I think it's going to give me uh, as much of, of an advantage as I can. So. Like I said, we're going to look at position, and not just the position that I'm in, but uh, look, look at some uh, at some other people as well, uh, and a couple mistakes that some, some people make in this game uh, in regards to the position that they're in. So we're going to leave me for the moment, because I'm taking pot shots at some people. Uh, don't get anybody down. There's a guy that works his way over uh, from here. Actually, let's go over and look at... Uh, Mr. Rob, this is a bad decision that this guy makes. Um, go back and just kind of see what he does. He actually gets some air here in a minute in the vehicle he's in. So, this is Mr. Rob. So, see if I can't back up. So, what this guy is doing, I'm going to pause it real quick so you can kind of see what actually would have made a ton of sense for him to do is he was coming in from this area over here now you can see where the circle is right there so it would have made a ton of sense it would the best decision that he would have been able to make because there is still uh, time left for this blue circle coming in what he should have done was dump the vehicle right here and then come in on foot into the circle Anytime you are at the end of the game, especially with 22 people left, you're giving away your position by getting into a vehicle, and then depending on where it is you're trying to go, that's going to end up kind of putting you in a really bad spot. So we're going to go ahead and kind of show you what happens to Mr. Rob here. He does get some air. Boom, I mean, you got some air right there. <laughs> Somehow survives that, doesn't wreck, and then he goes tearing up this hill, and the problem he runs into is Big Goose, who we saw earlier. He can hear the vehicle coming, and uh, ends up getting him down. And that's just to be expected, when you're coming into the circle and you're trying to get into sort of the center of the circle in a vehicle everyone knows you're coming it's just a bad decision so kind of go back over to where I'm at I hopped into this building real quick just to see if there was going to be anybody coming in late to the circle and I might be able to see them before they saw me coming in over there so uh, bold cut is a guy that I get into a fight with uh, sort of, sort of repeatedly, we we exchange fire several times, but neither one of us uh, we don't get each other down in this first fight. Uh, Buzzsaw is coming in late here. Uh, he does make the circle, and then he gets taken out uh, by bowl cut. Okay, so the next circle hits, and you can see I'm basically in the next circle. So I get really lucky in having that circle where it's at. Uh, now I don't really need to move. So Buzzsaw will continue to move in here, and we're going to look at a guy over on this side. Uh, it's going to be... Nope, they aren't in here yet. It's uh, Vera. I think it's Vera, or Verga, or I don't remember we'll find out so buzzsaw ends up making it into here bowl cut i think he might have just taken him out nope he's right there so 
unfortunately for Buzzsaw, he just kind of stops, heals up, and then gets into a fight here with Bullcut. Bullcut's able to get him down. Kind of rush one another. And he almost goes down. Now, from there, I start taking some shots at uh, Bullcut. Uh, you can see me all the way over there. I'm taking shots. Uh, Bullcut's got a uh, SKS, I believe. So, we, like I said, we exchange fire. Neither one of us goes down. And, do, 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 do. and let's see. Yeah, Verfa. Here comes Verfa. Now, Verfa is the guy that we're going to kind of look at who kind of made a mistake uh, in his positioning uh, here at the end. So, he makes it to the circle. And uh, I can't remember who gets Chewy down. Yeah, Verfa finally gets him, and he's using the uh, SLR. So he's able to get him down. Okay, so we're going to kind of look at Verfa's position here. We'll slow it back down. Okay, so Verfa is here. Now look how much time is left on the uh, clock here. He's got 45 seconds. Now what he's currently doing is getting into a fight with JWM, who's all the way over here on the other side. Now, Verfa's able to hit him. Uh, they do exchange fire. There's another guy who comes running up uh, up the hill to try to take on JWM. It's a guy like K KOV or something. So going back to Verfa, you can see where he's positioned. Yeah, there's KOV, 4EG, however you say that. Verfa gets nailed there, takes another shot. They're just exchanging fire. KOV's trying to move up the hill. Uh, to take out JWM. JWM gets him down instead. Verfa heals up. Okay, so let's look. Let's pause it. Okay, the circle is now coming in. Verfa is right here. JWM is right there. These guys, this is the end of the game. You're going to take too much damage from the blue zone. You've got to get into the circle. That's what has to happen. And Unfortunately, Verfa does not do this. He is so focused on firing over there that he starts taking a ton of damage. And he starts booking it. And the problem is, look at how far he's got to go. He's got to get past the building that's right in front of him. He can see JWM to the side. And he basically stops and starts firing at JWM, and he actually gets him down. The problem, it's too late. Even if Verfa is able to heal up at this point, he never would have made the next uh, blue zone anyway. So, switching back to me, this is actually bowl cut that I'm shooting at. We're now down to four people. Um, I haven't taken out anybody at this point. So I kind of move up, and I see Bullcut getting into a fight, chucking grenades. So now I know he's fighting somebody. I end up getting a headshot right on him there. Take him out. So now I know that there's somebody right down in those buildings right down here. All right, so let's kind of pause it and again, look at position here. Look at this wide open area. I'm in the worst position <laughs> right here. I'm in the worst position. Now, Mitzi Litzy, I'm going to assume that's a girl's name, so we'll just call her she. She uh she's in such a good spot to be in based on where she is, based on where I'm at, the open terrain and how close she is to the circle. The problem for Mitzi is she kind of doesn't take advantage of the position that she's in. So we're going to go ahead and just kind of set it. I'm not going to set it to two times. We see one another. I take shots. Now, I've got 50 seconds. So I've got time to get to the blue zone, but I know I'm never going to be able to get down and run down that hill because she's going to be able to pick me off. So I've got to get into a fight with her. I end up hitting her right there, and she runs back, gets behind this wall, and then she stops the hill up. 
that is when I make the decision, okay, I gotta run down here and then cut across. If I try to cut across right down into here, I'm not going to have any kind of cover that I need to have. If I run into the position that I'm in, I'm gonna be able to at least have the hill on my left, if she pops out from this building, I'm gonna be able to kind of see her. I'm still in a world of hurt. But the problem is, to rewind it, the problem is Mitzi gives up this position. She goes back, she heals up, and what she needed to do was to come over, get behind this building, and from this vantage point, she would have been able to lean out, look to see where I was at. If I was over there, she would have a clear shot. If I'm in the valley, she's got a clear shot. Even if I'm coming from over here, she's gonna have a clear shot. Instead, what she does is she takes off running to get to the next circle. Now, if you notice, Look at where the circle is, look at where she was. There's still eight seconds left. She doesn't even need to be going into the circle at this point. She's going too soon. This is what's giving me the ability to sight her in and to get some shots on her. And I'm able to get her down. Circle's coming in, I'm gonna be able to just kind of run it out and I'm going to get there. As we get into the end game, there's the one guy we haven't even looked at before. This is JB Esquire. I'm not going to dog this guy too much. I think he makes one little tiny mistake. And we're going to kind of look at it from his perspective. This guy has on a level 3 helmet. He has the AUG. And here's the thing, guys. Uh, he's got one of the best weapons in the game. Um, do, 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 do. so he switches over he puts on the uh, puts on the red dot and I'm just able to get him down um, kind of look at it from my perspective this guy really didn't make like a huge mistake or anything it's just you know, it's just who's going to basically be able to get the other one down. Uh, I'm coming up. You'll see how much damage I take. And I actually had a, uh, a med kit. And I end up actually being able to use the med kit, which takes like 10 seconds to use. But I'm able to actually get it done. So I can hear this guy coming on my left. Get back. And I'm able to get this guy down. So I end up getting the chicken dinner. This guy, I'm not faulting him for rushing me since he had the AUG. Um, rushing sometimes is the best decision. Sometimes it's the worst. But you can kind of see this open area here. Rushing me at that point, especially when he knew that he had already done some damage to me, was a good idea. Uh, I just was actually able to heal up fully. Uh, so it kind of made it an even fight there at the end. So it's going to be whoever was going to get the most shots off. So uh, I don't begrudge this guy. He didn't really do anything wrong. I just got kind of lucky and uh, I was able to do more damage uh, at the end of the day. So already guys, that is going to be it for this video. So again, any single time that you're playing, you want to, and I've mentioned it many times before, but every time the new circle hits, pull up your map, set a marker, figure out where it is that you want to go, but always be aware of your position and where the other people are as well. Because if Mitzi had kind of taken advantage of her position, um, I would have been in a world of hurt. I, she probably is going to get me down. I'm going to have to get some lucky headshots on her because I'm going to be so out in the open and she's going to be the one who has cover and she kind of gave that up running into the circle when she didn't need to. So it's not a mistake that I haven't made a million times before. Uh, so I'm definitely not dogging her, but just always be aware of your position and how to take advantage of it. So, alrighty guys, it's going to do it for this one, and uh, we will catch you next time. See ya.